In this section, we'll be looking at advanced selection techniques, like Power Select and Lasso Select. To start, we'll open up our Select folder, and we'll click on 1 underscore Power Select. Power Selection is a really useful technique for selecting on many faces or edges at the same time. You'll notice here we have two components, our orange one and our purple one. Power Select is located under the Selection tab. We have Structure, Layers, Selection. You'll notice inside of the Selection tab, we enable you to filter for different types of faces, coaxial faces, edges, features. We let you find things that are on the model. And we also give you the option to search on one body or all bodies. It works by selecting on a face or an edge. As soon as you make a selection, it automatically searches for that type of geometry. Let's say we click on our edge down here. It's found edges the same length, edges the same length and the same orientation, and edges on our top face or our small face. One very useful selection feature it goes through is rounds. If you select a round, it'll automatically find all rounds that are equal to that size and all rounds that are equal and smaller. Notice you can search for concave or convex rounds or specify the size of the rounds you want to search for. I'm going to select rounds that are equal and smaller to quickly grow my selection to 120 faces. Now I can make an edit to them. I'm going to click Fill to remove them from my model. Using Power Select to grab all 120 faces at the same time is much faster than clicking them one at a time. It's also useful for making edits to the model. If I click on this face, I may want to grab a depression, a protrusion, or faces with the same area. It searches for planar faces that are of the same area. And now I can edit them at the same time. We'll pull them in by 0.25 millimeters. It can also be useful for selecting on cylindrical faces. Normally, I may have selected this by doing a big box select. You'll notice that I have some of our faces on the purple model selected. This may not be what I wanted. Instead, I'll simply select on one of our cylindrical faces and expand my selection to coaxial cylinders or coaxial surfaces. Now I can move them all at the same time. And remember, if the Move tool isn't in the direction you wanted them to be, click the Move Direction button and move it along an edge or normal to a face. Now I can drag them together. I'll type in 2 millimeters or I'll hold down the Control key and make a copy of them. And even though I'm using the Move tool to make the change, it was much easier to do by using Power Select. Let's look at one more selection technique with Power Select that's even a little bit more advanced. If I zoom into the top, I can see a lot of depressions in this top face. If I click Select and select on one of the bottom faces, I can grab that depression. Notice we have five faces selected. If I click Fill, they'll be removed. If you control select several faces at the same time, it searches for all of them. So it just searched for three of these faces and found three depressions. You can control or shift select them to grab them at the same time. Now I have 15 faces selected and I'll click fill to remove them. Now let's say I wanted to remove all of those depressions at the same time. I'll select on the bottom face of this depression and click the Find button. Notice this will locate all of the coincident faces that are there. Now I have 32 faces selected. If I click the Find button again, it will search on all 32 faces. 
What that means is that it should find 32 depressions that are there. If I want to select them all, I'll click the top depression, hold down the shift key, and select the bottom depression. That automatically selects all of the depressions, which is 160 faces. Now if I clicked fill, I'd remove them all at the same time. Now there's one last selection technique that I want to show you, which I think makes it a lot easier to select on faces. Everyone's seen box select, and it can be done by holding down the left mouse button and making a box around the geometry you want to select. You'll notice that sometimes this brings you too many additional faces. Instead, we can use lasso select. It's just like the selection technique that's inside the mini paint and photo editing programs. Under the drop down and select, I can choose lasso select. This lets me draw a free form uh, spline by holding down the left mouse button. Notice now I can control exactly how I want the shape of the box to be, clipping out faces I don't want, pausing to see what's selected, and even coming back to remove other faces from my selection. When I let go, those faces get selected, and I can fill them in. Now one shortcut to bring up lasso select is to hold down the left mouse button and then click the right mouse button. This brings up a quick radial menu of selection techniques. And if you click in the center of the radial menu, it'll switch to our four basic commands, pull, move, fill, and combine. Remember, that's holding down the left mouse button and clicking the right mouse button. Now we can click lasso select and draw our own little box. So please try to use power select to remove all of the rounds from the part, make an edit on the cylindrical faces, remove the depressions on the top, and play with lasso select.